The beginning of my reflection started with the drinking water issues. But then I wonder what is hiding behind all of this. And why is it so hard to have accessible, clean and safe water in India? First, the supply. Most of the buildings in Delhi aren't known by the government, which means bad and random connections with the water supply, unclean tanks, old lines and noisy pumps. Second, inequality. It's difficult to manage the distribution of water, which benefits only a minority. Third, the quality. Beside the facts that tap water is unsafe, what about the free access water furnished by the municipal corporation of Delhi. Sanitary purposes. I don't feel it's uh, completely clean. Although um, maybe using the water from Delhi is better. Tap water from Delhi is way better than tap water in Noida. Because of the source, the source of Delhi water is slightly different than the source of Noida water. And um, Noida water has basically the river that uh, leads to Noida water is not that good. It's very dirty. Delhi water is partially okay to drink, so I'm uh, not really concerned there. Although there is some, there are some cases where we read that people, you know, uh, were uh, admitted in the hospital because of dirty water. Then the waste. Because of the bad maintenance, I observe how much water is lost in the leaks. Then I try to meet some expert to understand the issues of water in India. How water stressed it is, especially and not just Delhi, all the urban centers in India. Yes. I mean, groundwater. We're definitely heading towards a very problematic kind of situation if we continue bus business as usual. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know for South Delhi, for example, ground levels are particularly low. Consumption is rising, water demand is rising, population is increasing, more people yes. are shifting to urban areas. So definitely, if we continue on the same track, it's going to be problematic. Uh, in Varanasi, about uh, um, I think uh, 350 million SUVs is generated every day, and we have the capacity of treating only 350 million. People now understand that they are, uh, that sewage is not good for the river. Throwing garbage into the river is not good. Like people throwing flower garlands or garbage or plastic into the river, or using detergents at the bank of the river can be taken care of by the education. The kids, the school going children, the younger generation are the future of this country. Religion can be helpful in protecting the people. Because we regard Ganga as a mother. So at least those people who have got religious connection with the river, they, they are coming forward to protect this people. From time to time, we should change our practices of if our religious practice is polluting the river, we should transform it. Our campaign 15 years ago was to really register Yamuna as a cause. Delhi gives around 3,500 million litres of wastewater every day into Yamuna. It's not even fit for animal bathing, it's only fit for industrial cooling. And that becomes drinking water for 20 million people. Again, uh, it should be more just equitable, sustainable society and a society that is driven not just by the state but as a partnership between the state, which is the government and the citizens. You know, it's very, very important to look at what are the main causes mm -hmm. and the cause is, of course, the market is a cause, because of which the way our rivers are turning black. Uh, it's also our education system, our, our consum consumption. In general, when you talk to water, we talk about access to water, uh, you talk about availability of water, which is scarcity of water in that sense. Then you talk about privatization of water, and then you talk about pollution. Also. People realize the, the issue of pollution and Yamuna, uh, but they, they, they're not able to make the connection between the issue and the damage and the consequence. We have to start looking at this as an economic capital, which means that the moment we kill all the rivers, which takes India behind in the economic path, a powerful nation needs to have a powerful ecosystem. It's a very scary future, but and that's why it's very important that, that government starts acting soon.